All right, so here for our first model, we're gonna be making this object that I call a doohickey. It really has no purpose except teaching some different elements in Fusion 360, like extrusions, uh, sketches, and arcs. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So we'll create a new model by clicking the plus up here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And there's two different ways you can save it. You can either click this save icon or click this drop down menu and we'll go down to save. All right, so I'm gonna call it do hickey. And then one request I have when you're making your models is that you always put your name in your model just in case you share your drive with other people. So that way we can tell whose models are whose and then we'll go ahead and save. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is create a sketch. So click the green plus button in the upper left corner. Now sketch allows us to sketch on any flat surface, but specifically I want to sketch on this bottom surface. So where the red and the green axis intersect. So we'll click the bottom surface here. And then we're going to start off by making a rectangle. So we'll go up to create. And then rectangle. And then center rectangle. All right, and then I'm gonna start my rectangle here in the center. So I'll click and I'll start dragging out. So I want to make my rectangle 75 millimeters wide. So I'll just type 75 mm on the keyboard. Now here I can't click the other constraint, which is really frustrating. So what I'm gonna have to do is click tab on my keyboard. So hit tab, that'll allow you to shift back and forth whatever constraints you have open. So I'll switch to this upper constraint. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it 125 millimeters and then hit enter. And you can see here that this is purely a 2D object. So let me pan around. Uh, we don't, we're not doing anything 3D yet. We're just sketching in a 3D world. And so in just a second, we'll use the extrude tool. Let me go ahead and click top here and that'll bring me back to my top. I'm gonna add a constraint by using the line tool over here in the corner. So I'll click one point here in the corner, then start dragging straight up, and I'll type 25 mm on my keyboard. And then I'll go ahead and click, make sure it's showing that little right angle icon so it's perfectly straight up and down. Now I'm gonna use the regular rectangle tool. I'm gonna start at the top of my line right here, and I'll click, and I'll start dragging out. I want this to be 25 by 25. So I'll type 25, tab 25, and that shifts between those two constraints. All right, so I click, and it's starting to get cluttered here. You see there's all these 25s floating around. So those are just constraints. Those are not actually part of our model, and we can move them out of the way wherever we want. Um, so you just click on the number, and you can drag it. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine outside of the model, but as long as you can keep track of it, you can put your stuff inside of the model. Just know those are only constraints showing us how long something is. All right, so we'll go ahead and finish our sketch. So now we can turn this 2D drawing into a 3D object. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the extrude tool up from the menu up here. This is gonna allow us to choose a surface and then make it 3D. So I'll just go ahead and show this little square as an example. So I'll click and we'll drag it up with the arrow. But that's not actually what I wanna turn 3D. So I'm gonna go over here to my menu for extrude and I'm gonna X that out. And instead I want to select this larger portion of our drawing but not the little square. All right, and specifically, I want to extrude it up 25 millimeters. So I'll type 25 mm and then hit enter. All right, so now I have this nice little brick with a little chunk taken out of it, just so that we can see how to sketch and how to extrude. So next, I want to create a sketch on my brick. So not on these original three planes. I want to make it on this longer surface over here with the broken side. So I'll hold down shift and I'll orbit, and I'm gonna click on that surface and then create a sketch. So specifically what I wanna do is make an arc kind of in this upper corner here. So we'll go to create, then arc, and then we'll do center point arc. Then we'll click over here in the corner and we'll drag it out and we'll make it 50 millimeters. Now here I want it to line up perfectly along this line. So the way you do that, you put your mouse kind of right over that plus sign. And then when you're on the line, it's going to turn into a little blue X showing the constraint there. So when you got the blue X, you can click. We're gonna drag it up 
I want this to be exactly 90 degrees. So type 90 and then hit enter. And then let's go ahead and seal that off using the line tool again. So we'll click the line tool. We'll start our first point at the top of the arc. Then we'll bring it down to touch the corner of our brick. And then it should turn blue. And then once it's blue, that means you can select it or manipulate it. So we'll go ahead and finish out the sketch. Let's go ahead and extrude that guy. So I don't want you to just extrude this a specific number. I want you to extrude it to the other side of the object. So we'll click this surface. And then over here in our menu, we're gonna select this long side as how long we want it. So I'll do extent type distance. Then we'll click distance. We're going to switch that to an object. So I want it to extend to that long side. So let's go ahead and orbit around to the other side of our model. And then I'm just going to click this longer surface right here and it should perfectly extend flush with that surface. So this is really nice because now if I ever want to edit this surface, um, I can edit the whole thing all at once. So say I need to change that in the future, I click, now they're perfectly flush with each other. All right, and that's about it for the doohickey. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the home button so we can compare it to the original. And it looks like they're about exactly the same. All right, so let's go ahead and click save and we're done. Thank you guys.